In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a pivot table for multiple tabs here in Google Sheets. So creating a pivot table for multiple tabs can only be possible in Google Sheets once you combine all of your tabs together. So that's what we're going to do first. And from that combined data, we will be creating our pivot table. Let's get started. So in a previous video, I've already shown you how to combine multiple tabs into one tab. We're going to be doing the same thing. But this time, instead of the query function, we're going to be using the sort function. So we have three tabs right here that we're going to be combining together. Now, as you see, these three tabs all have the same headers. So before we combine them, we're just going to copy this. Control C or Command C and paste it in our combined data tab. Once you've done that, now we can start our array formula to combine all of our tabs together. So this is our combined data sheet. We are going to start a formula right here with the equal sign, then our curly bracket. So what we're doing here is an array to combine all of our tabs. And we're going to start with the first one. So again, since we've already copied our header, we don't have to include it every time we select our range. So let's just go ahead and select our first tab right here. We're going to separate that with a semicolon. Now we move on to the second tab. Select again your range, not including the header, semicolon. And our last one, go ahead and select and close that array formula with another curly bracket. If you press enter, now we've combined all of our three tabs into one tab right here. So let's say we're still going to be updating each of these tabs in the future. And if we do try and let's say add some information right here and go to our combined data, it will not be able to add new information because we have fixed the range that we've selected. So what we can do to fix this, to include any new information added into your data, what you can do is to delete or have an open ended reference. So let's delete the number at the end of our range to make sure to include everything that follows after. So any updates will still be included. Now, if we press enter, you'll see that we have now our Marco Polo, but what happened to the rest of our data? So if we press on control or command and arrow down, you'll see that our new data has been added after a thousand rows. Now what happened is we have included every other empty cell in each range in order to fix that. What we can do is to add the sort function in our array formula. So right now we're going to edit our formula right here. So we are just going to include sort, open parentheses, and at the end, closing parentheses. If we press enter, now we've added everything and everything is sorted in ascending order with Marco Polo included. Now what the sort function does is it puts all of the blank spaces at the bottom of our data. And now we're going to start with our pivot table. Let's just delete this one for now. Okay, so before we start our pivot table, we are going to do the same thing of selecting everything in our range, including all the empty spaces, because again, if we are to update these tabs right here, we want to make sure that they're included in our combined data and in our pivot table. So now that we selected our range, we're going to go to insert and select pivot table. Here we have a combined data again with the range that we've just selected, and we're going to insert this in a new sheet. Let's click on create. Now here we have our pivot table, which we're going to add our values or rows or columns in our filters. Let's get started with our rows. So we want to analyze this by product purchase and by customer name. So we're going to start with our product purchase and add another customer name right here. So we have each of our products that have been purchased and the name of the customers that purchased those products. Now we're going to add our values with the quantity and another one with our total purchase. 
and there you have it so now we are analyzing everything by product purchase with the customer's name with the sum of the quantity and the sum of our total purchase but as you see here we have two blanks at the top with a total as well now this are all the blanks that we have also included in our range and if you don't want to see that right now because again if we just update it then will it be added we're just going to filter that by not including all of those blanks so let's do that by selecting product purchase right here and showing all items and uncheck on the blanks so it's including the blanks we don't want that let's click on ok and now we've gotten rid of all the blanks right there so now we have our pivot table and if we do add some new information let's say we have an additional purchase for tripods in our first tab let's go back to marco polo purchase some tripods with a quantity of 300 pricing of 129.99 if we just drag this we have our total purchase now if we go back to our combined data you'll see Marco Polo included right here and in our pivot table we have the tripod total with Marco Polo and his purchase of 300 included and there you have it so that's how to create a pivot table from multiple tabs here in Google Sheets thanks for watching if you found this video helpful do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos see you on the next one